Hello people, Team Talk Podcast, episode 11. My name's Samo Law, I've got tabs with me, I've got decks with me. What are you saying, fellas? Mate. <laughs> <laughs> We're a bit done, we're all United fans here. We just uh, finished watching the Man City game, the Manchester derby. Tabs, have you been on the, have you been on the podcast before? No, no. No? no First time as well, yeah? Yeah. Dex, you've been on the First podcast, time. Once, once before. Yeah, man. Where do we start with the? With the we're gonna obviously talk about the derby straight away. Yeah. Three, three, one. The final score. Um, I don't know. Like when City was in the lead, one nil. Mm. I thought to myself, just let's just stay in the game and we could try and nick one, maybe a draw. Yeah. When they got the second, yeah, I'm not gonna laugh. It was over. Same. What about you? you well, I, I, well, what can I say? Like, from the first half. Uh, the start, the starting, like starting lineup for United. Just knew. starting lineup was mad. No Pogba. Yeah. I heard rumors that he was gonna be at, but I didn't feel. I thought it was just you know. But know. yeah, when I saw that on the team sheet that he wasn't there, the first thing I thought was no creativity in that midfield. You got exactly. Herrera, that's gonna like break up play when he gets the ball. He's just gonna like keep it neat sideways. Matic, same thing, kind of like slow build up. Yeah. You got Fellaini there. Just non-existent on the ball. There's, there's nothing. There's nothing to say we're gonna play football today. Yeah. It's literally like. But is that, that is that Jose's fault? No. No, it's not the manager's fault. It's you. You, you have to play the cards that you've got in it. In hind, in yeah. hind, in hindsight, what? yeah, I do, I do think he's set up to more nullify Man City. I thought maybe, I think he should have started Mata. because as you said, we've been lacking that creativity. So I think Mata would have offered a lot. Mata instead of who? Mata, I would have said instead of Lingard. To be honest, okay, I know, I know on the Ling- right side. Okay, yeah, I know Lingard's got the work rate and everything, but as you can see, just didn't he, offer he anything. Just, so he's by, missing today. As well. Yeah, by by playing Lingard, you're, it's, it's just that you're trying to nullify them when maybe you should have. Played. Nah, but Lingard going forward links up the the, the play well. Yeah. It was a good link up, but when you don't yeah, have but people he, passing the ball from midfield, you, yeah. you can't link nothing. Yeah, and you know Lingard, I think is one of those players that kind of feeds off that that space. So when there's no space, not when there's no one putting him into those areas, I think it's difficult for him. But matter, yeah. The three, sorry, Dex. The three in our midfield today were basically guys who you want to see sitting on your half. But we've got a player on the bench that can make <laughs> make forward passes in Fred. That's a centre midfielder that he actually thinks forward. He thinks forward passes. He's the one that's going to run forward and link the the play with the attack. I'll give you one thing on Fred and Mourinho. He's he's not in the Mourinho mode yet. Mm, so you're thinking Fred Shakhtar, yeah? But Fred at Man United right now, he's not in the Mourinho yeah, mode. I don't, I don't think he trusts him at the moment. Like He hasn't shown enough that he can handle what the Premier League has to offer. You know, he, he started off the season and he was very shaky. He just looked at all sorts. So mm. I think he's taken time to bed in. So I don't, I don't think that would have been the best option to him. Oh, man. So that's 12 points behind the leaders. How many points are fourth? Seven? Seven. That's what I'm saying. Like, we, we can't be looking at leaders right now because we're not a champion, championship winning team. Nah, but like, when you look at United right now, we are a team that's hanging on. We are trying to get to a position <laughs> because of our name. There's nothing to say that we are a footballing team. To be honest, I, I did not see this coming, if I'm being totally honest. At, what, the, start, at the start of the season? At the start of the season, obviously, Man City are in a class of their own. And we came second last season. Yeah. And I thought, yeah, well, you know, second, third, you know, quite, quite comfortable. Wait, is it at area. the start of the season you felt this? Yeah, at the start of the season. I After didn't, all I, the summer, what you saw with Mourinho airing that dirty laundry and all that, you still thought. Yeah, you know, yeah, I, I still thought, you know. I lost faith from there, from the preseason. Yeah. I, I don't, I don't, I, like, even last year, to be honest, let's be honest, last year when we came second, did we deserve to be second or we just took our chances when Liverpool fumbled? Because if you look at Liverpool and Man City, last year in Liverpool were playing a certain certain type of football and they've continued. They've yeah. built on, they've got they've players in. Big time, Whereas yeah. we've just we've gone and got Fred mm. flat in the summer. Back to the game though, yeah. I have to say, man, as much as it pains me, Man City is just another level. When it comes yeah. to just angles, pressing, creativity, mm. I think one thing that okay, off off air you you, you were saying, because I said that these passes that Man City were doing, the little dinks through, even the ones on, on the floor mm. that were going through, like surely the United players would, would have known that that's what they're going to do today. Yeah. yeah. But you said it would be hard to, to yeah, stop I it mean, anyway. 
even if you know it's coming, the quality on the ball is so precise that it just puts you under so much pressure. You, you saw when uh, Sane came on, I mean, look, Ashley Young was, was very scared. He was like, stressed, yeah, boy. He looked stressed. He was pushing him in well, the back. We were he stressed was, for him. You, you know the ball's coming, but it's just so perfect that they just get the run on time. Like Silva just pulling the strings, Bernardo Silva as well. I mean, the third goal, my gosh, what, what can you do? What a you move, can only man. Just clap. What a move. I mean, yeah, the way they play the balls in is like you don't expect it. They yeah. they, they put you in a sense of security. Oh, they're, they're not going to do anything. Then bam, they just play a nice ball, just caught you off guard. And the first touch by Gundogan. I don't know though. This is okay. This is what I think though, because you know how um, Jose brought Mata on and Sanchez at the same time, yeah. Yeah. I think mm. he played his cards a bit too early with a double sub mm. because. Pep brought Gundogan on, yeah. put extra man in midfield. Mm -hmm. And what you've done now, you've just got Matic and Fellaini, mm -hmm. yeah? Then you've got Mata in front of them. Yeah, it did look like we were just chasing. So now you're, you're chasing the game. Instead of a flat yeah. three, you yeah. put one that's going to be attacking and two holding. But then you've we're chasing the game at that point. So you... Mm -hmm. like, it, it, no, this. because what you could have done... Well, in, this is all hindsight anyway, yeah. but you could have still had uh, Sanchez out on the right. He will link attack and roam, mm -hmm. yeah? But you still bring on an energetic midfielder in Fred. I know I keep on going about Fred, but Herrera come off, you look leggy, Fred come on and, and just get around and break up play, doing the same thing. Do you get me? I do, yeah, I do feel that the game needed matter though. Even you saw that when the, when the third went, when the second, when it was 2-1, hmm. you saw there was yeah. nothing else. Then City started playing around. That's when they started passing it. Hmm. You might have just been thinking, you know, matter from set pieces, like the intelligent runs, the killer passes. You could even see when he did come on, he was linking play, was making good runs with uh, Martial. But man, Martial but, missed Pogba today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah big time. We could, that we, left side, Shaw, Martial, Pogba, they've had a real good like, chemistry on the, on the left side. Like, it goes down to even like crossfield field balls. Like we didn't switch the play once mm. and get it right. It took about three or four passes across the field for the ball to get from one side to the next. Yeah. Uh, Matic was trying it, but he the quality, the going out. The yeah. quality of the pass isn't there. There's a pass he tried to uh, Rashford. Mm. And how, do you think, how do you think Rashford did today? Yeah, he, couldn't do, he couldn't do much. Yeah. What do you mean he couldn't do much? That is what I'm saying. Well, if you look at... Well, we, we had seven chances on goal, one on target, which was a penalty. We didn't create nothing going forward. Mm. Him, Martial and Lingard were making runs, like creative runs. Yeah, we, we missed that forward but pass, man. You've got those runs and then the next phase of that, what we need support in play. We didn't have that because they had to build. Yeah. So if you're building from the front, the next stage, who's up, who's up there yeah. to take it on? Because I felt, I felt like the front three were looking for people to create. You see when, um, what's his name? We were just talking Rashford. about Rashford, when he got the ball. He was he was talking to Martial and Lingard saying, "Where are you going? I need you to." They were, come they were running away from him. Yeah, away from him. So that understanding, I don't think that front three really worked. There was no one to gel it together. But then we got a big problem, Lukaku. Hmm. Well, he's come on, he's done the run, got the penalty. Fair enough, got us back into the game. Touch was still mad today. But still, there's a point where he had that. <laughs> that he, he, he was on his own. Like he had, he had uh, two defenders, which he was controlling one, and the other one was far for him to control the ball, control it, link up the play. Couldn't do that, is it? Sanchez was, was doing well in the middle, the last two games. Yeah. Well, obviously he went for Lukaku. He got injured though. Like he got hit on a, on a fight the other day. Who, Sanchez? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I actually forgot about that. I didn't think it was serious though. But yeah, yeah, I was expecting more from Lukaku when he came on as well, I think. Yeah, I would have thought he had the, the fire physical, in his belly as physical well. physical presence, but... I don't even think he was winning with his headers. It, the, the ball was bouncing off of him. His confidence is still still out, still it's, gone. It, it looks easy to play against Lukaku right now because mm. he's just not doing just the get, basics. Get, when the ball goes his feet, just nick it. If you're a defender, yeah. just get in front of him and because nick it the ball. he's literally got to stand in front of you. That's what we were saying earlier on against the, the first game against Juventus yeah. where he literally just stood in front, in front of Chiellini. Yeah. And Lukaku can do the runs in the channel, get in mm. the play, but he's not doing that. But look, but look at even oh, when yeah. um, Raheem Sterling went on. Like when he went into the ghost number number nine, yeah. he was linking up play, holding it up, play, holding bringing up, players like in. Five foot four, and he's literally linked. It's because he's got that football brain now. Yeah. To allow him to mm. get the ball into feet, and yeah. then he gets the runners. Yeah. So he's got support from everyone else. Mm. 
You, was you, it United? We seem to be waiting for someone to do something, then we react to it. Mm. Like players do not know what system they're playing and what. Did you see how City? Yeah, they. We all fled and I said it as well in the week. City have a thing where they just know where everyone is yeah, on the it's pitch. Like positionless football yeah, football. you can play a it's bland pass because you know that your teammate is there. It's a Guardiola yeah. thing. If you yeah. look at all Guardiola's teams, Barcelona, Bayern Munich, and City, players literally. Like from a dead ball situation, everyone just goes into their positions. even off the ball. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they just yeah. go into their positions and they know that I have to be here. If, yeah. if if that player moves from there, another person takes over. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's, it's the understanding of the shape. Like they always want to maintain that shape because there was a there was a time when John Stones had the ball and then he had to go into midfield and they, immediately as they done that Fernandinho drops. Went there. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then it's just like. They've still got that shape there, and it's just like. Well, as United, we we look at shape as how's our defensive shape. No, 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 exactly. Shape. So we're good, not good, but defensively, we've got our shape. We've got our shape, but then it's like Marino almost leaves them for the, in the final third. Like guys, figure it out. Mm. Do you get me? There's no, there's no organization. There's no structure. It's like we look clueless at times going forward. Mm. Do you get me? The only positive for me, I think, is just Martial. I think he's just like. You can see he's a danger. Yeah, didn't have the best game today. Didn't but have the best game. He's but missed, he, like I said, missed Pogba. He, he, he makes things happen. Yeah. And it's so good to see because remember at the start of the season when Sanchez was playing in front of him, you could see that I think he de- he felt he deserved to be playing. Because, mm. you know, before Sanchez came, he was he was having a blinding season. So it's good to see him now like, playing. I think the turnaround around was that Newcastle game for all, most players where mm. they've actually realised that we've got a job. Mm. Well, they've got their differences against the manager, but they've saved him how many times now? Mm. If you think about it. They're still it. playing for it. They're still, they're still, they still want to do well. Mm. But can we talk about Aguero, man? Mm. When that goal went in, we all applauded it. Like, yeah, this guy is the, he's the next thing. Like, top corner, nothing long. From, I swear even, the ball even hit the roof. And yeah, the angle was well. It was a fantastic strike. I still feel like the gay could have done better, though, to be fair. You know what I mean, that, well, did, did you see how fast from that. The, from the, from, from the from kick. The kick. Oh, yeah, yeah, the kick was his yeah. fault, but, but not the shot. Like, oh, sh- it was straight at him, though. That's no, 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 no. His hands. Bro, do you see, did you see the pace of that the shot? Pace of that the pace, shot. The pace Bro. was mad, but at the same <laughs> time. You want to break your hand? Yeah. yeah. No, no, it's not like. We say people like the gay, but because he's got himself to that standard. But when that ball was hit, like, he's hit it. He's, mm. gone, I'm he's put his foot ball. through it. You're going in with the ball, he, or the yeah. someone is going into that net. He's put he put his foot through it. There's not a lot you can do there. The kick was poor, and he did that last last game at the Etihad as well, mm. when we actually won three two. Mm. It was a poor kick out, but yeah, Aguero, man. Where does he rank in in terms of your top strikers right now? You reckon he's because for me in the world, yeah, in the world. Yeah, I've always been a massive fan of Aguero. I, I Aguero is consistent, consistently banging him in, bro. Yeah, he's I a mean, goal scorer. Can't, right can't argue with him. I mean, maybe the only thing you say, maybe headers doesn't get that much. He doesn't headers. need to. I know he doesn't need to, but you know, if you're talking about a complete striker, you're looking yeah. at that. Like, if you're saying headers, you you you're looking at it from a perspective of older style football that a striker had to get headers, mm. do this. But now the game has changed so much. Mm. A striker has to. But yeah, I guess it's the style of play in the game. Well, But someone like Harry Kane, they always say he's a complete striker. Yeah, but I think he lacked a bit of pace. But yeah, Kane, like right now, he. You could say Kane's headers could improve. Mm. You know he can score from headers, mm. but his his game is different from that. Mm. So where does United go from here then? Like in terms of what? Because hang in. No, but in terms of the whole season, like so right now, we're, we're what eighth? Yeah, eighth, seven points from points. fourth. Yeah. Twelve points from the from the top. I think there's still a lot can change. Obviously. Exactly, it's a long season, so yeah, I think still in Champions League in terms to play of Liverpool. It's the mentality when we go into these big games. How? What is our motive? Are we going out there to win, or are we going there to, not to lose. say we're not we're not going to lose? Uh, we're going to shut down the shop and try and score one goal mm-hmm. and get it. Mm-hmm. What do you uh, reckon, Dex? I, I think look, we, we just need to work for that top four trophy, mate. Like, oh, <laughs> can you imagine? <laughs> That's what we're going for now. This is this was I'm sorry, Ch- Champions League football is done next season. Now, yeah, I mean. So you're basically saying right off the season and go again next season. Is that what you're saying? What, this you think we can win the league? No, but Bournemouth are above us. <laughs> you don't know showing the top six thing in the preview. Yeah. We weren't even on that on that screen. That's yeah. how low we were. But oh man. 
it's tough though. I, I mean, in terms of the top games, I think we've done all right. I mean, you kind of have to write off Man City a bit because it, it, they're just in an, another level. But look at the Chelsea match. We played really but well there. Let's take it on a look at it like this. For the last how many, is it five games? So from Chelsea, Newcastle, Bournemouth, Juventus mm. and this match, have you enjoyed the football you've seen? Yeah, we've I, been, I have. I've been you, against Chelsea. We've been reacting to second Chelsea, half. Sec- yeah, all the second half yeah. I've, I've enjoyed. But it's literally, we can miss the first 45 and come for the second half. Mm. Is that what we're saying as fans? Are you like the whole match, 90 minutes? We're not playing as a team that wants to win. Is that the players then? Look, to, uh, be, to be honest, we, we, you know, enjoying enjoy Man United play, I haven't enjoyed Man United play really. for years and years and years. And Mourinho coming. I never expected I was going to enjoy it. So, what you thought this, this enjoyment enjoy? stuff, um, it's, it's, that's not what I'm about. I want to see results. If it's a Mourinho t- team, I'm looking for results. But so that's the thing: <laughs> the results bring the enjoyment, but the way we're getting the results mm. is not enjoyable mm. because we are getting that. I've enjoyed the results of the last couple of games. Those ones you named, mm. you know? Okay, yeah, the we, results obviously. So when, no, no, but I'm the, the way that the, the boys have come out, of yeah. Them, but I'm saying the way that we look at it from the whole game, I'm not thinking Man United. I'm gonna enjoy this game. Like you, yeah. you're you're on the edge from the start. But are you talking about style? style yeah, wise? style of play. Mm. Like because anyone can go and score. Because look at us, we scored today. But mm. one shot on target, which was the penalty. This is what Jose said before the game. Yeah, he said that like, was little dig at Pep and City. He said, you know, we I can't go out and buy four full back, four full backs for. Hundred and however much, however much it was, yeah. I have to work with what I got. Luke Shaw wasn't on form last season. I didn't sell him. I had to try other players there. Rojo has played there. Um, Lindelof even played there. Ashley Young's played there. And then Shaw's come and, and you get me it's delivered. I didn't. I couldn't go out and buy four. Marshall. These are young players that that are not in form and they're not ready. They weren't ready at the time. I couldn't go out and buy players. Like, he's basically saying, "Do you get me?" It's Pep, Pep, Pep has bought, bought success, basically. But then look, he still spent money. Yeah, of course. I think he's been very hypocritical yeah. given mm. his history. Like uh, you know, it's just Mourinho playing mind games. That's what I. Think. I think what he's trying to say is to match City, he can't do it with the, with with his tactical ability and the players. Mm. He needs to match them on the on a level playing field, and his he's talking about money. Do you get me? Well, come and that's, on. That's, like, that's no, not... No, no, what, what players no. is he going to buy that is actually... And what gonna, I'm saying, yeah, that's, that's, what, demo, that's, de, that's demoralising to him. every player that Mourinho will get will end up being in a Mourinho system. Mm. And we're not losing But that's the key, though. That's yeah. what he wants. It might not be the United way, mm. but the players that he wanted, like a Perisic, someone that's 29, proven, on the left side, a left-footed player, out of the field. He wanted two centre-backs. Wanted, I think he wanted Mina as well, or Boateng. Like, whether we like it or not, that's the players that he wanted. Mm. So, like, today in the derby, you wouldn't have seen Ashley Young. Okay. You wouldn't, do you get me? You, you got Eric Bailly. No, no, but this is what I'm trying to say. That's what, like, and it sounds you, like can't, I, you can't fix it, yeah? Like, you got your player, but now, because cause you, you, you've got an issue, you want you want to compare your neighbour and say, oh, you know what? Yeah, just because you bought someone and made him into your system and my one is not working... It's not level. No, nah, but it seems like I'm defending him. I'm, what, I'm just playing devil's advocate. What I'm saying is like, you didn't say that when Klopp got rid of uh, the keeper that he got, Karius, and then got Alisson for 70 mil. You didn't say that when Pep got rid of Bravo, yeah. when he got rid of Hart to get Bravo, then got rid of Bravo because Bravo wasn't cutting it and got Edison. Mm. Yeah? But then he's You're, getting the results. Yeah, Someone. but I'm trying to say, yeah. Jose's made a mistake by getting some defenders or some certain transfers, yeah? He's saying, okay, I've made a mis- mistake. But I still want to go in again because mm. it's my third season now. We won the Europa and the uh, League Cup in the first season. We came second in the second season. This third season, I want to, want to go through. You, have to look you at give me sponsor. a new contract. Yeah. Like, yeah, you have to look at your sponsor. Just because my neighbour can do it, doesn't mean you can. Yeah, just yeah. doesn't mean that. Like Mourinho has to be able to work with what he's got. I and agree. In a way the team that, he's got. If Pep, if Pep or Pochettino or someone had this team. Mm. We'll be doing better, so I definitely agree with you. It's a yeah. style of play. Yeah, I think you'll be doing better, but not to the extent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Of, extent of, like of Man City, the way they are, because of the style this, of Okay, play let's talk have. about City. Forget United now. We've, we've, we've spoken about United, yeah. Man City, yeah. The sports group was pinging off as we were watching the match. 
No. One of our United fans, shout out Kev, he said, um, this City team will beat all the best teams. Mm. I think I think he was talking about historically. Mm. So that's like the 1999 team, the 2018 Ronaldo Tevez. He was saying this City team, they're just clear. And then Lloyd, shout out Dots, Arsenal fan, he was saying, nah, not our team. I think it was maybe he was referring to the Invincibles. Yeah. Where do you rank the City team so far? I know it's early, they've won one league title, that's, that's all they've won. Was that in the League Cup? Yeah, League Cup. Yeah. League Cup. I mean, I think it's hard though, like to, to, to judge them so highly. I think under, under Alex Ferguson, the way we were playing football, as in Man United. <laughs> Ferguson that dipped when he saw it was popping. Yeah, but when Ferguson we, bounced, he said, this is long. When we had our top players, Ronaldo, Rui, Yeah, that, that all seven, Tevez, that all eight team Comer. when we won the Champions League. I love that team. That Nani. Yeah, look at Vidic. Vidic yeah, Rio, Rio Ferdinand. Evra. Brad, yeah, Evra. Wes Brown was Van de Sar. there as well. Van der Sar. Oof, that was a good team, innit? Scholes was there. Man, Ryan Giggs was there. Darren Fletcher was playing like... Yeah. yeah. He was but guys, like, have we seen this? Se- okay, and that team got undone by who? Barca. Barcelona. Mm. Pep. Pep okay. That style of play. Mm. Let's not forget that. Mm. This is the same team we're seeing here. And when I was saying that Pep is going to bring La Liga to Premiership, because I thought I was joking, I said he's going to dominate the way, like all these teams that they were clearing, Real Sociedad and Real Valor did or whatever these, these teams are, they were clearing them 6-0. Yeah. We're seeing that here in Southampton, 6-0. Guys are getting 5 or 6 yeah, but that Barcelona team and this Man City team, that Barcelona team is better. Messi? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's the Messi, key. That's, that's, no, no, no. Like, you had... Um, Busquets was, was Busquets there. Busquets was there. No, nah, but I think Messi was the main difference. Yeah, the, yeah. The I think, I think Messi remember? was the key in that team. Yeah. yeah. That's, he's what you makes the team better. Against Rio Ferdinand. What I'm saying is this, this team is not mm. far off. Do you get me? I still think it's far off. You think it's far Messi, off? Messi, Savvy, Iniesta. No, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm, what I'm saying, take Messi up because Pe- Messi yeah, is Pedro, what takes him over Pedro, the top. Eto as well. Yeah. Come on. I don't, I don't like, that, so. team was, that team was mad. What? Yeah, Thierry Andre on the bench. If you're a City fan, what do you demand now this season? Champions, Champions League. League. That's, that's the one want. thing they need. You need the Champions, Champions League, League to put you on the world map to say, look, we are the best. Putting you up there with the Bayern Munichs, PSGs. Barcelona's Real Madrid's you need they're the favourites you know are they yeah to win the like, Champions League this season no it was Juve is it Juve yeah or oh, maybe one of the favourites because yeah. like obviously Man City hasn't got that history so mm. getting Champions League start to put them on that same type of level I think so. uh, let's, talk, let's talk about the top 6 then because Arsenal also play today they're in the top 6 top 6 basically the top 4 yeah. race yeah. Mm. they're basically in the same boat as us I don't I don't you get me? No, Arsenal are not on the same boat as us. I'll be honest. Do you know why? <laughs> look at the way they play their football, man. Like, no, no, no. no. I'm the... talking about in their situation in terms no, of... No, no, no. Summer, summer. This is so just, wait, are they going... Are they going pos- okay, wait, wait. Are they going comfortably top four? If they're not... If the answer is no, they're in the same boat as us. They're trying to get into the top four. Are they getting comfortable? They're competing to be in there in a better way than we are. Like, you, 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 you're looking at, at it from a position... position I'm place, taking a stand like, back. One, two, three, yeah. four, mm. then five. There's only four teams that can be in there. Yeah. But the competition and Arsenal, the way they're playing, they've got a better chance to be in that top four mm. because it's only Spurs above them. So is it Arsenal and Spurs that are battling for top four? Yeah. Then? That's why you see it. S- solid. So you see it, not in order, you see City, Chelsea, Liverpool, then you see Arsenal, Arsenal and Tottenham. Arsenal and Tottenham. So we're definitely not getting top four times. We're, we're not getting top four. <laughs> <laughs> just, just be honest. I didn't even think he was saying no. that. I was we're not. I thought he was saying Man United is above Arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, are you buzzing? No. <laughs> no. He's, He's saying what? He's actually discounting us now. <laughs> yeah. Tell me, where's the faith? No, no. no if there's faith, then there's being realistic. Yeah. Let's <laughs> be realistic. <laughs> If it, you know what his real talk, his real talk is talking from. Yeah, right, keep going. The way Arsenal play football, you, you, we've watched them play. They drop points today, though. But yeah, at that, home it, it happens. It's football. But that's my point. We drop it points happens. against Wolves as well. Mm. Yeah, yeah, we're the, yeah. So yeah, the same the boat, same kind of. No, no, no. no? Am I like, it's, it's the style of play. Like it's what the Bro, players. Yeah, yeah, style yeah, of play. I'm not going for. I'm not you going for. You know what I'm saying about Arsenal now is like they look like a team. Yeah, they look like they've got a system. Yeah, they're working towards something. They have figured out. Yeah, you know what I mean. A lot, a lot of a lot of um, Arsenal fans that I speak to, they say what it is about this team. Yeah, they don't just go out there and play. Like you see Wenger, mm. don't matter who they're playing, we're gonna go out and play our style. Mm. But they're not at that level of like Pep where he can do that. Yeah. Now Emery actually plans for other teams, but he balances it, so yeah. they still play to their strengths. But he's mindful of the opponents. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's not like he's just naively, naively just, oh, just go out and play. Mm. He's actually setting the players up. Yeah. But there's a pecking order as well. Like people know who the bosses are. With Man United, people are still saying, "Ah, I should be there. I should be there." Look at look at all the top teams. Liverpool, they know who their like best eleven is. Yeah. Man City to a ne- certain extent, people are comfortable with their roles. Man United, we ain't comfortable. We, we just, ain't just we, put someone in there. Nah, yeah, we're still chopping and changing. And that's what that's this, what my quits is. That's that what my quits is. Yeah, up front, ah, it's just stress. And that's if you like, if you got if you if it's like you got Lacazette starting and you got Bamian coming on or vice versa, it's, it's actually well, they, 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 good they, they they play together. A lot, yeah, they they recently they've been playing together. Ozil's yeah. been looking good as well. He's got players making the run, so in behind, so he can play those parts in. So what's Arsenal's goal then? Arsenal top four, I say. Yeah, they're in Europa. It's, it's Emery's won Europa goal. like f- three times. Yeah, yeah. It's severe, isn't it? He's he's yeah. a Europa like the king. Don, king yeah, yeah like, that's his thing. But still, some of there's a lot of games to go in Europa, and it's, that is why I a, talk about the league. Hmm. Every team that is in Europa that goes to latter stages suffer. Even the year Spurs, that we won it, look, we came six. Look where Spurs are. Spurs are going Europa, and that's I'm not I'm not complaining yeah, about so that. That's I'm, what happy. I'm, it's Arsenal I'm and, happy. That's what I'm saying. It's Arsenal and Tottenham. But you don't feel like we can come through the back door? Nah. Let's be I honest. S- I still feel like we're, it's a long season. We can go on a fantastic All run right, of yeah, games. This is me know. being. Uh, well, you okay. just lost three one. Because so look, we, we beat seven, Juventus. It's seven points. It's seven great we beat the favourites. Look, this this you, you kind of have to write this this off like this is Man City. This City game. Yeah, I mean before that we we've, we've been yeah. getting some a run of game together. No Pogba the, today. Yeah, no Pogba together. Like today, sorry. The mentality of the team looks better. It looks like we're you know the pressure's off in terms of all that Mourinho hype. But now we've lost players. today. How do you know it's not going to start again? Uh, Come on, look, look at Man City. Look at even the commentators. They weren't even criticising Man United. Oh, oh yes, they did. How? Oh, <laughs> Red, yeah. Redknapp said Red it would have been a travesty if, if Man yeah, United yeah, got yeah. started. But, but that's because there's just a massive golf in class, though. Mm. Sometimes, like, you just got to write this one off. Like. Yeah, City were this clear. This is how I see it. Like, yeah, just clear. We've got a lot of work to do, basically. We're just not at City's level. Um, who else played today? Chelsea Everton was a good game. Yeah, yeah, that was a good game. That was a good. Well, Chelsea played really well. Mm. Yeah, no, they played well. It's just nah. I don't think that. Yeah, nah. nah. I don't. I don't think Chelsea played well. You know, I feel like their their fans would have come out of Stamford Bridge today saying, "Nah, we have dropped two points." Do you get me? Like there was, they didn't really have the. For the neutrals, yeah. yeah, it's good enough yeah. for the neutrals, but you know, it's it's good for United as well, like and and teams around them. Oh, they hit the post. Uh, Alonso's tackles is mad. Yeah, oh yeah. my god! Mess around, uh, he's left foot. Like he's the first one, when he came over the top, just hit it, bang. Like second one, half volley on the, on the ground. Mm. Let me talk about Hazard, yeah, because mm. people know my stance on Hazard. Mm. Before the World Cup, just <laughs> what what what's this? Before the World Cup, I said Hazard for me doesn't do it enough to be labelled world class. Mm-hmm. I believe he's got world class talent, world class ability, yeah? yeah. But he doesn't do it consistently enough and he doesn't turn up for his team when it counts like the majority of the time. Since then, he had a good World Cup. He's started the season well. So I was starting to that, you know, okay, as I, this is what I this is what I want to see from a player that I know can definitely be world class. Could be one of the like, maybe top three in the world, mm-hmm. like Neymar level. <clears throat> yeah up there today it's not only only on him but a game like today Chelsea are looking at you like do you know what I'm trying to say well, stalemate Hazard come on win us this game right. at home just just do, last 15 like, minutes yeah like today, did you see Hazard last 15 game minutes like today uh they even say that Hazard was only meant to play, to play 70 minutes why he's coming back from that injury isn't he like yeah, yeah, even yeah. the last game he had to come on to win it for Chelsea oh is he injured still I think he's still he's not, he's not 100%. He's, yeah, he's not 100%. So that last 15 minutes, last 15, 20, he was They had him pushing. on just because. Yeah, that because they know that he, he can change the game. game. I yeah, know. I mean, I think it's, it's a bit harsh to say that, man, judge him, judge him on this match because... I'm well, not fully what, judging him off this match, but these are the kind of games where... But what, about, what about the one when he came on against Liverpool and just locked off the team? Do you remember yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but he's, he's starting to do that yeah. more consistently, though. yeah. I don't know, man, but so so what? So they've dropped points. Arsenal have dropped points. Spurs they won in it. Yeah, they won. They won. 
Sino, what are you saying? Uh, we've got an Arsenal fan, another Arsenal, Arsenal fan that's come through. Get me. <laughs> yeah, man. But, um, so, so what? So who, who do you reckon is winning the league then, man? Like, let, let's. I know all this. Nah, man. Like, all this is too early. Not, put your neck out and. and no, I'm saying, come on, man. Oh, it's, clear. it's clear. It's clear. It's clear. City, no, but wait, because Liverpool, let's talk about Liverpool. You know, a game like today, they didn't play well, yeah? Fortunate, you know, in some, some departments. They got the three points, mm. so these are the kind of games where they got to win. I just, I just feel like Man City have the know-how. They have a manager who's won things and won things. They've got players. They won it last year. They've got that winning mentality. I think Liverpool still got a, a loss in them, or you know, when the pressure comes on, it piles on. I don't think they're going to be able to handle it. Whereas City, they just, they just look like they're machines. What makes you think they're not going to be able to handle it, um, Liverpool. Liverpool? Liverpool. Yeah. Bro, you see when they played against Arsenal, there's yeah. certain teams that are not going to allow them to get away with that. They Wait, got, that who that the way Liverpool played against the way Arsenal. Liverpool played against Arsenal. Meaning what? Like they, they they got they got they got points. They got they got one point out of it. But there's certain teams that won't allow them to get any points out of it. No, but I think Liverpool should have won that match. What? Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Bro, they had a goal disallowed, yeah? Yeah. And but they the had they chances, playing, but they were making the wrong decision in the final third. But but the it was their playing, mistakes. Though. There you go. Yeah. The wrong wrong decisions when they met her. Yeah, 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 yeah. So look at Man City. They two two one up. Two one up. Man City could have shut up shop and said, We're sitting back. Yeah. What do they do? They play it their way. Keep it going, yeah, keep man. it going, open us up. Bang. And I think that's what Dex is talking about with the know-how. Pep knows this is what we've got to yeah, do to so get over the line. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Because Liverpool will be shaking that, oh, we're in the lead. Ten minutes left in the game. What do we do? Let's close it. Salah, Salah is, is tired or Mane or this, that. But yeah. you, you see that, that front... Yeah. No, but team. look, that front three you're saying, yeah? Mane, Man, 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 Salah, Firmino. Um, Shakiri came in today, mm. delivered, scored. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? So they got the depth, they got storage on the bench. They've got players in midfield. Do you get me? It's, don't it's, you think they can sustain this to the end of the season? The way, how you I just don't feel that they have the mental strength that Man City have. Like. It's, it's simple. Like For Man City, it's how many points are they, are they going to do it this season? Mm. <laughs> like, are they going to get how, how many points over 100? Because that's the next target. They've mm. gone over 100. Mm. Now, how many points over 100 is their next target? Nah, but don't, you think, do, don't you think um, the, the, the majority of Pep's priorities is, is Champions League? I don't think they're going to go as ham in the league. They're going to arrest players. They got the squad. Got the like, team. look, De Bruyne wasn't even, wasn't even here today. Yeah. And, and, and they, did their, what, they did their thing. But then it's all about the project, what your goals are. Yeah, so like, what, they've, got, they've got the league. What's they the order? They, what's the order? Like, I'll say the league is always going to be the yeah, order because good. you want to be the champions of your country and it's the longest, like, it's the longest uh, thing, uh, competition. Champions League, it's anyone's day. Anyone can win it. Well, it's the crown yeah. on the cake, isn't it? Or, or so when you win Champions League, you, you've literally <laughs> said, I've I'm, I'm, I'm won Europe, like, now I'm the boss. Mm. But with the Premier League, it's, it's, it's tough because you could go to a Brighton and Brighton on that day, just, like, they've got... Nah, you, you never know, like, with the yeah, league, Man anyone City can get it. such a squad. Even, like, look at Foden Actually, when he came on. They beat Brighton 6, F- it? Foden was looking but good as well. Been. It looks like he can play some matches when the, there's, a, like, a big run-in of games. So, they've just got too much depth. Yeah. Let's talk, let's, talk about, let's talk about VAR. Let's talk about VAR. Yesterday, Southampton. <laughs> did, you, did you see the Charlie Austin interview? Charlie Austin. He it? went brazy. <laughs> he <laughs> snapped... Yeah. So basically, <laughs> they were leading one 0 He yeah. scores a perfectly uh, legit clear goal. goal, legit goal. Make it two 0 Went ran over to the touchline celebration. Referee said, "Nah, mate." Nah, mate. What was it? What was it called? Was offside. Offside. It wasn't offside. Offside wasn't even him. It was um, the other. Yeah, he said yeah. line of play that the guy was in line of play. Yeah, no, but the guy wasn't. So he was Charlie Austin in the. In the I've never seen a, a player actually go that mad. It was. It was. He was saying, it, "Yeah, he was he having w- a tantrum." It Literally. Was, yeah. Mm. Maybe he had a bit on himself to score a goal or something. He was like, nah. But anyway, yeah, maybe it was. But obviously, he scored um, and it didn't get. It got ruled out wrongly. Today, Liverpool, in my eyes, Fulham scored a perfectly legit goal. Um, referee didn't give it. Alisson puts the ball down. The ball's still moving. He rolls it out. Liverpool literally go to the other end and score. If there's VAR, that don't, that don't, that don't. Yeah, you get me. It's got to come in though. It's just the eventualities. Tried it at the World Cup. People were thinking it was going to be like a bit of a nuisance, but it was quite good, I think. 
that it works. It's like goal line technology. Yeah. It just takes people, a while. People to, don't like change, innit? To refine it, yeah. isn't it? But some teams, some premiership teams didn't like actually went, were against, it. against it. it. Yeah. I think they're just waiting for like there to be like a perfect system it's before you, like it's, it's used perfected. in the Carabao Cup. I think it'll be used in the Champions League next year, they said. Yeah. Is it definitely in use for the Premier League next year or not? They're still thinking no, about no, it. I don't think it's... Oh, it has to come in. It has to come in. Technology's there. It's, it's there. It's been used at the biggest tournament and it worked. Mm. Mad. Nah, so why shouldn't it be there for the... I think with the Premier League, it's also like debates with the Football League because you have to start thinking about teams at League 2. How do you manage... Like yeah, yeah, yeah. To consistently yeah. have, but they're not, they're, some some of those teams didn't got um go on like technology, so it works, it happens, isn't it? Do you get me? But what is there more football? Because I'm feeling that type of way about this Man United result. <laughs> do you get me? Let's talk about boxing, man. Let's let's do that before we wrap up. Yeah, boxing last night that was well, KO. The, the K O. There was too many K O S. Shout out Tony Bellew. Yeah. Yeah. Shout him out. I like him. I like I'm him. not gonna I'm lie. Him. It took me a while to warm to Tony Bellew. Yeah. I used to think this guy was just like an average ball, uh, boxer with a lot of mouth, like just mm. talks, like and he talks the hardest. Mm. But you know what? That you has got, he's got a heart. Oh, oh, he's got a mad heart, bro. Yeah. Get me? The David Hay fights is is what won me over. So I'm a late bloomer, really? but yeah, late, late, late. David David Hay fight. Who was it when he fought that? Was it a Ghanaian guy? Oh yeah, the African yeah. guy, Cameroon. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, was, that, was, yeah. I was, that was. I was. I was impressed with that. that was Definitely. A good fight. That was I was impressed with that. But yeah, he came up short yesterday against Usyk. I think yesterday you went in knowing that, you know what, my time is up. Yeah. Because um, it's difficult. He's come from heavyweight down to cruiser. He was cruiser. Yeah, he, he was, was cruiser. cruiser. Went he to went heavy. And he, he only fought Hay. It wasn't that. Yeah. Hay is a cruiserweight as well. Yeah. So, like, he didn't fight heavyweights, heavyweights. Because when Dylan White fight was, in, that was uh, in the works, he didn't want it. He didn't want Deontay Wilder. He knew what, he knew his capabilities. Yeah. But he went to heavyweight anyway to fight Hay. Came back down to fight Usyk, and obviously Usyk Eddie Hearn, that's his guy, isn't it? He yeah, thought, yeah. you know what, I'm gonna make it pay per view because the fights shouldn't be pay per view. My Usyk eyes. is yeah. matchroom, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So you look, look at it, two matchroom fighters. One is on his way out. What do you do? Bring them both in and <laughs> say, you know what, guys, I want you to come up with a result because yeah. he's gonna be his next project as well. Mm. Now, what, what, what? How do you think he done anyway, Belly? Actually, like, Belly. Yeah. Did you watch the fight? Yeah, how do you think? Yeah, yeah, I think, I think, <laughs> bro, boxing. that fight, that fight was, um, how can you put it? He started it was, well. He started well. And he knew. With the rounds, as you saw the rounds, like, you, you see, he was smiling. Tired, tired, getting yeah. tired. He was getting, fading. He was, he was getting hit, like, jabs. Like, Belly's jab was good as well. Like, he had some good jabs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's actually a good boxer, underrated boxer. When it came, when it came to, like, fitness, that's when you started seeing Belly, like, getting hit and feeling it. And then mm. uh, that, that that KO. Do you rate Usyk? From that fight, yeah. I, yeah, I haven't I'm, seen too I've much of him. Seen too much of him either. But for him to be for him to be to have all the titles, all the belts, and he's calling like AJ now. Yeah. Do you reckon he's, he should keep his mouth closed or? It's a money game, man. You want to fight the best. Like he's done cruiser now. He needs to. He's going up there. Does Eddie Hearn make that happen, or does he hide? Does he um protect AJ? Is there a reason there's, to protect there's, AJ? There's, no much, there's too much protecting AJ talk. Like, AJ <laughs> needs to go up now. <laughs> like, we need to... We, need, we, we want to see the Deontay Wilder fight. After Deontay Wilder, like, well, Tyson Fury was going to be... It was either Deontay or Tyson. There's a little triangle but there. But now there's Usyk in, in, in the mix because he wants it. Do you make that fight happen? That's what I'm saying. If you're Eddie Hearn, do you make that fight happen? Do you make that fight happen? Or... There's, is there well, a reason... Well, what I'm saying, is there a reason... Is, has Usyk got anything to trouble AJ? Is there a reason for it? You reckon it does? Yeah, I reckon it does. What do you reckon he can do against AJ? <laughs> I'm going to put it on the spot. Nah. From the last fight, from the last AJ fight, yeah, take Usyk and put him in heavyweight. There's going to be a trouble. There. Usyk's got good frame yeah. as well. Good frame. Like, he's got a good skill. And AJ's a bit stiff at times. Yeah. And it's, 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 uh, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Maybe a lot of the weights, but... I know he, sh- he dropped weights shape. for his last he fight. He's in shape. Yeah, he dropped weights for his last like, fight. He gets in shape when he needs to. But even but the fact that... we're looking at that, basically look at it from a money perspective. If AJ goes and fights Usyk, how much money is he going to bring in? Because Hay is going to... Exactly. Yeah, he, he, he has to think, Eddie Hearn has to think that, like, well, it's a good fight, but money-wise... Basically, low risk, 
that's what you that's what you want now if you're Eddie Hearn. Low risk, high reward. You yeah. need to find you need to find that lane. So anything that's gonna potentially mess you up, we don't you we don't, don't want, want it. Mm. it. Doesn't want that because once once AJ's lost them belts to Usyk, who's just come up, then what? What's your selling point? So I think, is it fair to say that Eddie Hearn is is protecting AJ then? Because a lot of people are saying uh, Deontay Wilder was talking rubbish that he don't want the fight. AJ no, wants Deontay it. Wilder was talking money that we don't even think he had. Why was the Fury Deontay Wilder fight made so easily compared to the the AJ fight? Because they're both they know they know what level they are cash wise. Okay. Yeah. So it's easier to make that fight, and well, you're looking at a fight that can give you like 20, 30 million. And then the fight for those two, like, will bring in about twenty million. No, 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 just like Fury Deontay Wilder is, is projected to hit a, hit a lot. But I, I, I get you. Example, not compared to AJ, no, nah. Not, yeah. But I just think it's when two willing fighters are on the table. That's it. But then Fury Fury's been out the game two years. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he needs a belt. He knows he's not gonna jump the queue and go straight for all those belts with AJ. Wilder probably thinks he's he's losing it. He's yeah. on his way out. Let me. Let me just do it. I think it's going to be a good fight. What do you think? Do you reckon? Wild or Fury? Yeah. You know what? I'm thinking Fury, man. No way. Come on. I say, I say, I said it before. I said it. Like Fury, Fury is a is a quality boxer. Like, oh te- my no, god! He said quality. No technical, technical. Like you, you, you guys look at Fury. He's awkward, bro. Yeah. He's just an awkward fighter. Then, There's nothing special at, about. No, Samo, Samo. I would disagree. Like he's technically. Like, he's there. But well, look how ring rusty he is, though. Come on. Bro, have you seen his last few fights against those builders? Yeah, but like, you, you, you're thinking about the quality he's fighting and the mentality he's going into that fight. If you're fighting a builder, you're not going to like give out your best. <laughs> Listen, let me that, tell you. Because that fight, the, the, the last fight he had, yeah, like, Fury was playing a bat. Like, he, um, he was doing Muhammad He Ali, was playing like, a bat, tabs. Tabs. Like, he yeah. was playing a bat. Because he wanted he, to push the rounds. No, no, he was playing a bat, but he didn't look good. There's, a, there's <laughs> playing a bat and toying with someone. He didn't look good. Someone, you couldn't toy with him because if you, everyone would have looked at him and thought Fury, this was a, like the criticism. He knows what's yeah. up. He knows what this the fight means because yeah, he's even fight, dropped weight. This, this fight, like even Lloyd, I think he said like you could see like Fury's he's got six, six pack, pack of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like last year, he's lost ten stone. He's how do you stone. see? How do you see like, Fury winning? You said no way. So how do you see Fury winning? How do you see wins? Fury winning? Like Fury, Fury will land one. Yeah, because Wilder, Wilder, as much as everyone thinks like Wilder has got the haymakers, that hits you like he doesn't yeah. stop. Fury said that's what they're banking on. That yeah. Wilder's just gonna f- he's throw, gonna throw, throw, throw those punches and like Wilder, when he hits anyone, I, I don't care who you are, if he hits you, sees you shaking. That's what I like about him. He does not stop to to let you get yeah, catch a breath. He goes, for, he goes for you because that's boxing. You want the man out. If Fury, if Fury wins. I reckon the way it's gonna be is probably he's just gonna rest on Wilder. Like he's gonna use his weight, extra weight. Yeah, Wilder's got skinny. It. Wilder's got skinny legs. He's gonna have to be like fending Fury off him the that whole is, fight, get him Fury tired. Against them guys, like he literally puts his weight on you. But Wilder's Wilder's got feet. Like he's Wilder can move around though. He's he's mobile. He's probably the most mobile heavyweight. More mobile than AJ. Mm. Wilder's Wilder's athletic. Do you get me? So how, what do you see Wilder winning that Fury fight, Dex? Yeah, man, it's got to be Wilder, Wilder all day, man. I just think uh, my my main argument is the fact that like Fury's just been out for so long. Yeah, he's been active. How do you expect him to beat such a like a formidable opponent active. when he's been out for so long? He would have been hard enough when he was fit and in shape, mm. but now look how long he's been out of the game, man. I just from a perspective of sport, come on, man, you just can't expect someone to go from. Zero to hero like that. Alright, well we'll see. Uh December first that fight is. Mm-hmm. Right? Oh. We're gonna we're gonna do a team talk link up for that predictions. Dylan White and Chisora. Oh Back Dylan White Chisora was in the ring yesterday as well, promoting the, the fight. fight. Yeah, yeah, rematch. They're so running that. How many times is it? No, second. second they're, run, they're running second. it back. It like they fought like four, the first five, fight was a was probably yeah, one was of the fights of the fights of the it was year, a fight bro. Of the year, yeah. I might even watch that again. Year. Just, bro, what a fight that was. So wait, what, do you see it going the same way then? I see it going the same way. You know, Chisora nearly been no in that fight. Yeah, Chisora was probably because did it? Wait, no, well, no, wait, wait. That fight. That's the one that. Well, I'll say it. Is that the fight that they had? They had to have Dylan win. What do you mean? Because it was that close a fight 
They gave it to Dylan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've been giving it to Dylan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but Dylan, in the, Dylan started well and Chisora finished well. Yeah, it was a literally 50 50. Like, you, you had your bit, I have my bit. But Chisora's got a heart. And yeah. Bro, like, Chisora's crazy. last fight when he's, he was losing. He's got a heart. Who is it? Was it Travis Brown? Uh, uh, no, no. Lucas no. Brown? No. No, no, no. Lucas Brown's the one that got knocked by White. Uh, White. Um, was it? Who's this guy? Oh, they're going to kill us. Who? who, who he was losing. And he came back and, and KO'd him. Yeah. Like. Uh, the one that fought, um, did he fight AJ? Oh, no, it wasn't, it wasn't, um, oh, well, we'll fight, we'll, yeah. when we come yeah. off, we'll find it, but yeah. That, it, my God. So, I've, I've got to support, like, Chisora is in Zimbabwe, yeah, but. <laughs> <laughs> got to support my guy still, but okay. yeah, that one was a tough one. All right, guys, thank you for joining us. So. Be sure to check out the um, Team Talk football show. We're going to do a preview as well of the Wada Fury fight closer to the date. So look out for that. All right. Till next week, guys. Peace. Yeah,